All right, welcome back to creating a cyborg girl in Photoshop part five. So this tutorial uh, will sort of focus on the uh, her uh, left leg, and um, basically what I'm doing is adding a what's called a clipping mat, a layer. Uh, basically, the layer above it I just added, and then just hold Alt between the two layers and essentially clipped it. So as I paint here, you'll see uh, it'll only go within that silhouette of the leg. Uh, it's not going to go into the blue areas, uh, which is empty, transparent areas on the layer, but um, it doesn't allow it to go there. Now, when I unclip it, you'll actually see that uh, the paint is physically there. It's just not visible. So as I hold Alt here, you can see that gray blob appear and disappear in the blue. So that's kind of the idea is you add new layers, uh, basically, and just hold Alt between them, and uh, whatever's there is clipped. So that's pretty handy. and um, Right now what I'm doing is I'm just laying down some base colors, some grays, and um, a couple of other uh, desaturated colors, some reddish, uh, dark gray. And um, I'm painting very loose at this point. This is one of the things I, I find pretty exciting in the beginning is once I have the silhouettes that are broken down and structured out, I can uh, play as much as I want, really, um, to decide, hey, let's... Uh, Let's see what can happen here. And all these possibilities sort of arrive from this. The other thing that uh, allows a lot of uh, inspiration to happen is applying textures. And that's what I did here. I got them from cgtextures.com, which is an open source uh, site. I'll show you guys how to do that in another tutorial and how to do the clipping mask and um, how to add the layer mask too. You'll notice the texture disappeared. And what I did is I filled it in all black and basically wherever I paint, the texture will appear up, appear in the image, which is pretty cool. And uh, doing this, you basically change what's called the blend modes from uh, normal to o overlay or multiply are usually the best ones. And what they do is it's, it's a blending um, method that happens through an equation. Uh, it's done all in Photoshop. Um, basically, there's an equation on how much percent and how it affects the underlying pixels um, so yeah and basically as I uh, apply here I start painting and adding more uh, more color and um, you'll see me apply some cool little scratch marks and um, you know basically just uh, try and render out as much as possible uh, the four leg is becoming more piston like at this point and I'm starting to dig that but I'm sure it'll change a lot by the end um, you'll see me paint and then apply a texture on top of it and then uh, add another layer and then paint again so um, at this point uh, just sit back and uh, enjoy I got some uh, background music here as we're uh, watching so I'll see you soon in uh, Photoshop CS6